I'm getting a lot of questions about my thoughts regarding the recent mass shootings and gun violence. And while this is not something I usually talk about, I am seeing a very important link being missed. The connection between domestic violence and especially against women in mass shootings and gun violence. I put together some new research for y'all, so I appreciate you allowing me to break eye contact from our usual programming and share some of this research with you. The 18-year-old gunman in Uvalde killed his grandmother before leaving his home and killing at least 19 children and a teacher in a school. This is the shared link with other mass shooters, is assaulting women who they are close to or romantically involved with. A peer-reviewed research paper in the Injury Epidemiology analyzed data from the Gun Violence Archive. This was 110 shootings taking place between 2014 and 2019, where at least four people were killed, defining it as a mass shooting, and they found two main themes. First, in more than two-thirds of them, this is 68.2% of the mass shootings analyzed, the perpetrator either killed family members or intimate partners, or the shooter had a history of domestic violence. And second, DV-related shootings have a much higher fatality rate. In shootings with no fatalities, only 15% of shooters have a history of violence and harassment towards their intimate partners. In shootings with six or more deaths, that percentage shoots up to 70%. This is a situation where women are canaries in a coal mine, pointing directly to the problem at hand. This is domestic violence insulated inside of a culture of patriarchy that allows the top leading causes of death for women being killed by their male partner in a legal system that waits for domestic abuse to become physically violent before defining it formally as domestic abuse.